Hi guys, welcome to Eatin' with Anna. This is our first episode, Kill Your Mother, Egg Your Nog. Um, <laughs> I know it's supposed to be a sh cooking show, but drinking is the only other thing that I'm good at. So, let's do it. So for a basic eggnog recipe, I do a little bit differently and you're gonna see that in the process. But uh, we're gonna do one liter, so it's gonna be half milk of your choosing. I prefer homo milk, 3%, and then half a liter of heavy cream. You can use more cream, but don't use less cream because it's, it's eggnog, it's not gonna taste as good. Um, you're gonna use a half cup of sugar. I don't sweeten mine as much. Uh, this is half cup, you could probably go up to three quarters, but uh, you're already putting booze in it, so it's gonna be fine. And I got five eggs. Really, you're only gonna be using the yolks. Some people put one white in as well to make the texture a bit better, but it's just a bit tougher and like egg whites are kind of gross. Uh, I got here a quarter teaspoon each of nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves, all ground that we're gonna strain out of the mixture. Um, save some nutmeg later for the garnish because it looks pretty. And I've got a teaspoon of vanilla extract that you can omit if you don't have it lying around. And uh, of course, you need booze. I really like rum in mine, but I usually add a little bit of brandy too. You can run with that as much as you want. I don't recommend putting egg vodka in eggnog, but you do you. Uh, you're gonna need, these are the essentials. You're gonna need a whisk for sure, for whisking the egg yolks and the cream and everything all together. A wooden spoon, preferably not metal, just what is a better cooking utensil. Um, a glass or stainless steel bowl to temper the egg yolks and everything. And then just a pot that can hold at least two liters, so you're not overflowing. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is get the cream heated with the spices. And while this is heating, you can go separate some egg yolks. So you always want to heat cream and any kind of dairy pretty slowly and the reason for that is while you are bringing, bringing it pretty much to a boil, uh, you don't want to rolling boil anything. What you're looking for is a little bit of movement in the top and the steam rising off of it. If you burn anything with cream or milk in it, it's, it's you can't bring it back, it's all of going to come apart. You can't save it. So this is kind of what we're looking for right now, as you can see, you see little bubbles up on the surface and you can see it's kind of moving a little bit when you're washing it. The way that I do it is I steep, I'm steeping all these spices in the cream, right? So you get all the flavors in there. Um, but I don't want all the solids in there. So you can use cheesecloth or a fine mess strainer or whatever you have to try and get rid of some of those solids. Or if you really want to all of those steps, you can just not add the spices into the heated cream and just add them at the end. It's just not gonna have as much of the spice flavor. So you take this guy. You're gonna need this pot again, so just give it a rinse in the sink. I'm gonna carefully gather all of this up. Oh, don't burn your cheesecloth like I just did. So you see some of the solids are still in the cream, but you're not going to get a huge mouthful of them, right? This is the most important step. If you get up, you're just going to have a bunch of scrambled egg yolks. Um, so we're going to temper the hot cream mixture into the egg yolks. And what that means is we're going to add a very small amount of the hot mixture to the egg yolks and sugar. Uh, and we're going to stir it 
and then we're gonna add a little bit more, and what that does, it uh, it just keeps the egg yolk from scrambling. You got it a little bit of it, right? Don't scrambled egg yolk, so we're just gonna go for a little splash. Give it a good whisk, very quickly. And it just kind of slowly cooks the yolk mixture. Just enough that it gets a little bit smoother and a little bit thicker. And then we're gonna do a little bit more. See how shiny it gets. Oh. You can gradually add more and more. But what I do is I'm gonna put this mixture back in the pot. I'm gonna heat it up again. Super messy, so just ignore me. And then this tempered mixture you can whisk slowly into the cream because now there's no pretty much no danger of scrambling unless you turn it up high and don't to do that. So you're just gonna heat this up for a few minutes until it starts to thicken. Um, but again don't bring it to a full boil. This is gonna thicken even more as it cools down so depending on how you drink it. You can take this right now. But this is looking pretty good. So, if you're drunk like me, you can't wait a few hours, you can drink it in the pot. Um, but, I think it's a little bit better cold down. It's going to be a lot thicker and it's going to have a nicer texture. I'm going to move it to the fridge for a few hours. So, now the hard part's over. We got our eggnog and we got our booze and now we just have to put them together. So I usually like rum because dark rum is really yummy. It's already got some vanilla in it. Um, but... I like putting some brandy in it as well. It just kind of rounds out the flavors. Um, don't use anything too expensive because you're putting eggnog on top of it. You're not going to taste any of the finer notes. Um, and how much booze you put in depends on how much you like your family at Christmas and uh, how much you can put up with them. I think this eggnog will make it a hell of a lot easier. Hard day's work. <laughs> Just drink a liter of milk and eggs, you know? And booze. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. okay. And booze. Awesome. You good? Mm. I'm ready to feel bad tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> Definitely the best eggnog I've ever had. Also, I'm lactose intolerant. Sure. Also, we're gonna have diarrhea later. Booze liquefies the bowels. <laughs> you gotta keep it all loose in there, you know? It's like yoga for your intestines. Yeah, you gotta practice keeping that sphincter tight. Because <laughs> you never know, any moment it's just gonna just slide out of you if you drink yeah. too much. Mm. This, this egg milk concoction will help thicken up the, the movement. Yeah, this is the best post workout beverage you can have in uh, December. I do not, I, I will not advocate for you putting protein powder into this, but if you do... Well, that's a great idea. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, buddy. Oh.